right, how's everybody doing today? We're back again with another video for you guys and gals, and today it's about that time. So this is my versus slash comparison video between the turbocharging power and the USB-A to USB-C JS aux cables versus the Anchor direct power delivery and the JS aux USB-C to USB-C charging cables. So by the end of this video, I'm gonna let you guys and gals know which charging standard I recommend you stick with, whether you should go with the USB-A to USB-C, or whether it's about that time to upgrade to the direct power delivery and the USB-C to USB-C. All right, so that's gonna be the whole purpose of this video. That's what I'm gonna try and answer for you guys and gals today. All right, so the two main de devices that I use to test this both support the same uh, charging standard. So on my right here, we have the Samsung Galaxy M20, which has a 4,900 milliamp hour battery physically now on paper it has a 5000 milliamp hour battery but it supports uh 15 watt fast charging okay and then on my left here we have the Motorola Moto G7 power which also has a 4850 milliamp hour battery now on paper it's 5000 but it also supports 15 watt turbo charging power okay both of these devices have the USB Type-C, all right? So, this is about as fair a test as I could make it, okay? Both of these chargers do output at uh, uh, five watts at three amps. As you can see right there, this is the anchor charging brick, okay? All right? And this is the turbo power charging brick from Motorola. And it also outputs at uh, three amps, okay? Okay, so that's everything that we use for this test. These are the devices. So now let's talk about this. We're not gonna make this video too long. So in my testing, what have I discovered? Well, if you have a fast charging device and it supports USB type C, uh, which one would I recommend? Well, I'm going to put my screenshots up in post so y'all can see everything that I talk about as I talk about it. Now, in terms of the USB A to USB C and the turbo charging power, I found that with my particular testing across both of these devices, it charges about a half an hour to an hour faster than the direct power delivery and the USB-C to USB-C cables, all right? But th that's if you're using the, um, the devices and they support that 15 watt standard. Now, one thing that I've noticed is that if you have a device that supports the direct power delivery, then you're gonna actually get some super fast charging speeds here, okay? Devices like my Google Pixel first generation, really fast charging speeds, and even the iPhone 6S Plus, really fast charging speeds if you go with a USB-C uh, to USB-C cable, those devices support the direct power share. But at least with the USB-A, um, versus the USB-C, I have to say, if you have a device that supports the fast charging, it's definitely more cost efficient to go with this one than it is with this one. In my particular testing, as I said, the USB-A to C charged a good half an hour to an hour faster. In this particular instance, with these two devices, it averaged anywhere from about two hours to three hours to reach a full charge, as y'all can see on the screen, versus the direct power share, which averaged a good three hours to four hours to reach a full charge with the same um, charging test, all right? And now, as I always do when I tested these, I tested them from 5% to 100, 
Okay, 10% to 100, 15% to, 15 to 100, and 20% to 100, okay? And I did those tests a good three to four times, and thus, that's the averages that I got averaging out those charge times, okay? So once again, that pretty much does it for this video, y'all. Which one would I recommend? The USB-A to USB-C. It's gonna charge a lot faster, and these cables are a lot more inexpensive to get your hands on, whereas I found that the USB-C to USB-C cables and the supported bricks for direct power delivery are a little bit more expensive and harder to find. And really, if you want this absolute fast charging speed, you're gonna have to go out of your way to not only make sure that you find the appropriate brick, and the appropriate cable, but you're also gonna have to go out of your way to make sure your device supports that as well. And then you'll be able to get the absolute fastest charging speed. Whereas with the A to C, as long as your device supports a fast charging standard of any kind, you're gonna get the absolute fastest charging speed. Okay, so that's why I would recommend the A to C versus the C to C, okay? That being said, that pretty much does it for this video here today. Now, if you guys or gals would like to know how much I spent on these things, I have the screenshots up in post for the bricks and the cables and the devices themselves. Now, the G7 Power, I actually picked up from a really good friend of mine, your boy, I Tech You Out Guy. I picked this up for $100. Whereas the Samsung Galaxy M20, I picked that up for roughly $185, okay? Everything else I have screenshots of up in post for you guys and gals to check out because we're all about keeping it straight 100 around here. That being said, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did enjoy this video and found it helpful in any way, shape, form, or fashion, please help your boy out and give the video a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you want to see more videos like this, also feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and click off the notification bell icon right next to it so you guys and gals get notified when I publish new videos. That being said, if this video piqued your interest and you'd like to know where you can pick up either of these bricks and either of these cables, all the links to everything that I talked about and featured in this video will be available down below in the video description. So as always, if your interest is piqued, down below in the video description will be like a one-stop shop for you guys and gals, and you should be good to go. Okay, this whole video here today was recorded using the rear-facing 12 megapixel camera on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Active in 720p resolution at 30 frames per second, okay? So please let me know what you think of the overall video quality down below in the comments. All the audio recording duties for this video here today are being handled thanks to the Movo MA2010 omnidirectional microphone so please do the same thing about the audio please let me know how you feel about it down below in the comments because your feedback is greatly appreciated as always that being said i hope everyone has a great day and i will catch you guys and gals in my next video peace everyone